make global variables for each of the items in our layout. The edit text, test tube, radio group, and each radio button. These will go above our onCreate method. For step two, inside the onCreate method, link all the variables to their layout components. Step three is to set the listener check when the user selects a different radio button. We can do this by adding an on check change listener to the radio group. In particular, you want to add this line of code. There's one more thing that we need to do to make the radio group work. Step four is to head to the top of the file, to the line that says public class main activity extends activity. After the word activity, add this text. Now for step five, an error should pops up in the last step. Click on it to import this line. Be sure not to use the compound button one. Step six is a bit trickier and involves setting up a switch statement. Luckily, it's the last step. The goal here is to check which radio button the user has selected. <laughs> Start by finding the method called onCheckChange has two arguments. For the radio group part here, add the name of your radio group. Next, set up a switch statement for the variable called checkedID. This variable contains the ID of the radio button that the user pressed. Here's an example of how you might do that. If you have trouble with that step, don't worry. You'll get the chance to look at our code in the next lesson. We'll also be finishing up our app there. Bye, Super Coders!